So you want to be the next Bill Gates, Elon Musk, or you just want to have more money to your name? Well, today you are on the right video because I'm going to show you the seven ways to increase your wealth that are both easy and quickly to do. Hey everyone, my name is Alexi and welcome to my channel. Here we speak about personal finance and especially about making, investing and enjoying money. Make sure to watch this video until the very end so that you see every single advice that I have to give you to increase your wealth. And also don't forget to turn on bell notifications so that the next time I upload a video about tips and tricks about money, you will be notified immediately. You heard it already, money can't buy your happiness. But there's another thing that money can buy, and that's freedom. And in some ways, freedom leads to more happiness. So technically, yes, you can. Because the more money you have, the more things you'll be able to do, and the more you have, also the more opportunities you'll be able to take. Now, there are three ways that you can use to increase your wealth. The first one being to spend less money. Of course, the less you spend, the more money you'll have to your name. The second is, of course, to make more more money because of course if you keep spending as much money as you're doing right now and you have more money you're gonna end up with more money at the end of the day and the third option that you have is to invest more money it's kind of a mix of the two because you're kind of spending it but not really because you can still withdraw it but at the same time this money is making you more money on the other hand so that's also a good option to do first let's start by speaking about spending less money did you know that on average every American makes about sixty eight thousand dollars per year now I want you to ask yourself this question can you live with sixty eight thousand dollars a year yes of course you can but now do most people believe that no but even if you only earn about 20,000 a year it's still possible for you to increase your wealth by spending less money technically the money that you earn doesn't have anything to do with how wealthy you are it's all about the spendings so I'm gonna present you three ways that you guys can use right now to spend less money the first way that I found for you guys to spend less money is to create yourself a budget and I know it sounds super annoying but trust me creating a budget can make the biggest difference especially if you don't earn that much money what is really important about having a budget is to keep it simple because the more complex it is, the harder it will be for you to actually follow it. And what we want is to strictly follow a simple budget so that we keep more money to our name. Now let's say that you guys earn $3,000 per month. Let's deduct the rent and every single fixed expenses that you have to pay. These are the kind of expenses that you're gonna have to pay if you are doing something or if you are not doing something. Things that you pretty much have to spend every single month like rent, utility, uh, groceries and all this stuff. Now once this is done you have to deduct all the expenses that you have from time to time so for example you say okay I'm gonna put maybe $200 that I can spend per month to go out to eat with some friends or $300 that I want to use for myself when I want to go shopping now that you deducted all these things from your $3,000 that you earn per month you then see how much money you have left that is just for you and what I want you guys to do with this rest of money is to invest it but we will speak about this a little bit near the end of this video the next idea that I have for you to spend and less money is actually to use the guns and butter rule and if you are familiar with my channel you know already that I love this rule so this rule is pretty simple let me explain you what it is you have two things that you can buy guns and butter what butter is is every single expense that you don't need but that you want for yourself for entertainment purposes or things for example when you want to go out with some friends you buy some alcohol this is not buying something that you really need but it's something that you want to buy and on the other hand what the guns are are things that will make your life easier either by giving you money back or by giving you time back or that are just gonna help you out on a daily basis pretty much and this rule goes like this every single time that you're gonna buy something let's say you go to the mall and you are looking through all the stuff you can buy ask yourself this question is this a gun or is it butter? And most of the time, the answer is pretty easy. If it's butter, just don't buy it or buy just a little bit of it. And if it's a gun, of course, buy all you want. And what's great about this rule is that you can pretty much use it for every single expense that you're gonna make. And let's say that you have some money on the side because you are doing your budget and you still have about $400 to your name. You can ask yourself this question, how do I wanna use these $400? Do I wanna buy guns or butter? And for example, you can use these $400 to buy stocks and then you just bought some guns. Congratulations. And the last thing that I want to talk about when it comes to spending less money is to go into less debt. Because we live in a society where debt is pretty normalized for everybody. So if you want to go to college, you have to take a loan. If you want to buy a house, you have to take a loan. And if you don't have enough money at the end of the month to buy things that you want to buy, you just take another loan from the bank. But what I want you guys to do and to focus on is to reduce debt as much as you can. Especially debt that have really high interest. For example, if you have a credit card and you use it for daily expenses, 
that's great. But don't forget to pay it off every single time you use it. Because credit cards have some of the highest interest out there. And over time, the fact that you are using it on every single expense, sometimes it just happens. You forget to pay it off. Well, you're gonna have to pay a lot of money because credit cards have really high interest. But I know it sounds super easy to do, but reducing debt is actually super hard, especially if you wanna go to college or you already have a super high loan for whatever you did in your life. But I want you to focus on paying off this debt because over time, it's actually gonna make you pay less and less money every single time and that's how you can increase your wealth by reducing debt. But now let's speak about the second thing in this list that I really wanted to talk about in this video to increase your wealth and that's actually increasing your income. There are four things that I want to talk about when it comes to increasing your income so listen carefully here we go. The first one is to be more productive. And productivity is something really important, something that you're gonna do every single day. Let's say you have a daily routine. If your routine is really optimized and you are putting the work on, of course, you're gonna have a great productivity. But for most people, it's not really the case. They go to their nine to five jobs, they come back home and they just relax because they just ended their work day. But here is a list of the few things that you can improve to actually have a better productivity in your day. First thing that I want to talk about is the to-do list because of course you guys probably know it, when you know what you have to do during the day, it's way easier for you to actually navigate throughout the day and do what you have to do. So the best way to do that is to have a to-do list. It can be onto your smartphone, it can be on a notebook or whatever you want, but you have to write out all the things that you want to do in a certain day. And what I like to do to improve my productivity a lot is to create a to-do list the day before I actually have to do these things. So for example, let's say it's Friday evening, I'm tired, I just ended my whole day, but what I do is that I write everything that I want to be done the day after that. So that then when I wake up the next day, I already have the list that is all figured out, I already thought about this, I just have to go to work and finish these things. And write things that you want to do the day before you actually have to do them. But now something that also helps quite a bit with productivity is to wake up early in the morning and I actually tried that quite a bit during the last weeks when I tried to wake up a few hours before I actually do it normally so that I didn't do the hard work at first and then the rest of the day I can just chill and do other things that I want to do and that helped me so much to increase my productivity to do things that I would not have done on another day so wake up earlier do the hard work first and then you can then have a day that's pretty chill and you can do whatever you want one great way to wake up earlier because I know a lot of people struggle with this I also do is that put your phone on the other side of the room when you go to bed and then if you have your alarm that's set on your phone it's ringing from the other side of the room you have to stand up if you want to turn it off and since you're standing up you are completely awake and you can start off the day and the last advice that I have for productivity is that every single day put yourself an hour or two where you want to do some stuff and you only work. I tried to do that myself and it worked out pretty well. I'm working every single day about two hours on this YouTube channel and then it's pushing me actually to create content and do what I have to do. So let's go into the next things that can improve your income. This one kind of connects with the to-do list. You have to set yourself goals. But what's different about this one and the to-do list is that when you're setting goals, I want you to set goals for the short term but also the long term. This is really important. One example of this is that when I created this YouTube channel, my first goal was to have a thousand subscribers by the first year on YouTube. And guess what? It was a struggle. I tried my best, but it was going really, really slowly. But then after half a year, I was like, okay, I'm never gonna make it. So I really had to push myself super hard so that after exactly one year, I reached 1000 subscribers on this channel. So if I didn't have a long-term goal for this YouTube channel, it would have been so hard that in my opinion, I would have just completely stopped doing it. What's important about your long-term goals is that you need to be able to quantify them. Because if you just say, oh, I want to start working out, well, yeah, maybe that's a long-term goal, but you're going to struggle really to achieve them. Because what does that mean? You have to go every single day, maybe twice a day, or what does that mean? But if you say, I want to work out four times a week, every single Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, and then you do it for over a year, then congratulations, you just achieved your goal. I actually have an entire video that's about how to set goals and achieve them, which is right here. So if you guys are interested into this kind of content, go and watch it right now. Now, another way to increase your income is to develop new skills that can pay you some money. And what I mean by this kind of skills, it's not something that everybody can do. And that's the most important thing about these skills. Develop something that you are the only one that knows how to do it, or there are a really few people that can do what you're doing. Because of course, the more 
more people that can do a job, the less valuable it's gonna get. Which is why in most cases, being a programmer will pay more than being a waiter. Because most people can be a waiter if they really want to, but most people can't be programmers if they really want to. So the more specialized you are into a skill and the less people can actually do the skill, the more it's gonna pay you. So learn a skill that you are the best at and that only a few people can do. A few examples of this are, for example, creating websites for people or learning to code or learning to edit video for people. And as you just saw with all the examples I just gave you, most of them are online. Because if you can develop a skill online, this is really good because then you'll be able to scale this business and grow further than other people. Now, of course, you don't have to go to university if you want to learn these skills. You can just go to YouTube and learn about anything that you want as long as it's great content. And finally, to increase your wealth by increasing your income, I want to talk about accountability because this kind of connects with productivity in some way but I'm gonna speak about this right now. It's an amazing way to force yourself actually to work every single day or to work hard on a project by having, for example, an accountability partner. Someone that has nothing to do with your business or someone that you just know and you just tell them, listen, every single week I want to call you and speak about the progress that I did. And just like your to-do list, you give them a kind of a guideline to what you're gonna do next week. And every single time you call them, you're gonna have to speak about what you did and what you didn't do. And their job is actually to push you to continue working even though you don't want to, or even though you are tired or whatever. So find somebody, it can be anyone, somebody that you know, or even somebody that you don't know. I actually did it myself when I was doing a challenge on YouTube about increasing the value that I give into my videos and the kind of content that I make. And I found some accountability partners and we're still in contact right now. We still speak from time to time in which we explain how we're growing our channels and what we're doing right now. In my opinion, that's a great way to improve your productivity and your will to work. And now, as I said before, there is the third option when it comes to increasing your wealth and that's to invest more money. And if you guys know me on this channel, you know that I love investing my money and I believe really that it's something really strong that not a lot of people are actually doing. And that's kind of a bummer when you think about it because so many people could be helped if they just invested more money. So what I want you to do, and that's gonna be my last advice, invest as much money as you can as frequently as possible. Create yourself a budget and every single time you get some money on the side, some money just for you, use it wisely, send it on an investing account and just invest into whatever you want. You can invest into stocks, into real estate, into cryptos, into whatever you are interested in, you can invest into that. Now, if you guys have no idea how to invest, I got a great news for you. You can go and watch this video right here or this one that can help you out too. I really hope you enjoyed this video about how to increase your wealth. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.